Okay, this is Karen Launchbaugh again. I told you I'd give you some tips and some tricks for getting plant ID right. Well, I gotta tell you, there's no tricks. It's like, it's like meeting a friend and remembering a friend, uh, but you remember them because, oh, they're about this tall, or they have curly hair, or they wear glasses. So you have to learn what are the characteristics of plants to help you. And I'm just gonna give you some that might not be very obvious. One, the most important and most reliable thing about a, a grass, let's think with grasses, is not their height or, or not their color, but their seed head. So the first thing to do to look at uh, on a grass is, is it a spike type seed head? Where the floret, um, the little flower and the seeds are right up against the main uh, stem, which is called a rachis. So these, uh, these little seeds are right there. There's, there's no branching, it's just one spike. This is blue bunch wheatgrass, has lots of nice leaves. Of course, in the fall when we do this event, the leaves are gone, so you can always count on that seed head. Here's a plant that has a different kind of seed head. This is Idaho fescue, and this seed head is called a panicle. And you can see it, it just branches out and kind of branches out. It almost looks like sort of fireworks to me. They kind of just, the seeds just hang out there. Um, so that's a really important difference between different plants is whether it has a panicle or whether it has a spike. Now this is also Idaho fescue, and this is a panicle, but you kind of have to take a closer look at it because this one is what we call contracted. This plant has just not gotten into, it's just not flowering yet and they're not out there. So just take a really close look. Look at some plants that have panicles, some that have spikes. Another important characteristic of grasses is the location of the leaves. Notice in Idaho fescue, almost all the leaves are right at the base. In blue bunch wheatgrass, they are all the way up. So look at the how the leaves are. Look at how the, those um, flowers are. Right over here, I actually have a new, another kind of plant. This is uh, this is a sedge. This is elk sedge, and I I know it's a sedge because when I look over this mass of green here, I don't see the stems coming off one. Uh, the leaves are not coming off on one side and then the other and the other. So the easiest way to tell a sedge is just to look over it. And you'll see that the, the leaves come off all different angles because remember these most sedges are have edges they're triangular stems so i'm looking over this and i'm going i know that's a sedge another characteristic i look for at sedges is they often have this kind of rusty red color at the base i don't know many grasses that have that but this one has that i'll show you some better pictures of these three plants Okay, so that's step one. Uh, remember that almost all arranged plants are perennial, but also woody plants like this sagebrush right here, if, if a plant has uh, woodiness at the base, then it is a, it is a perennial. It takes more than one year to make wood. So trees like that pine tree, sedges like, or um, sagebrush, all the shrubs that we have, they are perennial, no matter what. Um, a couple other things that you just might wanna um, keep your eye on when you're looking at plants is whether the leaves come off opposite or alternate on the stem. Most leaves are alternate. Just a few that we have are opposite, such as red osier dogwood has opposite leaves. Um, but, but most of them have alternating leaves. Is it a bunch like blue bunch wheatgrass and that hoe fescue? <clears throat> or is it a uh, sod grass like the rhizomatous wheatgrass that we have? So those are just a few things. Uh, that when you look at a plant, you should just look at how do those leaves come off, where do they come off, look at the type of seed head, and whether it's woody or not. And good luck.